Hello everyone, it's Sandra, and I've just been talking for 10 minutes without recording. So welcome to today's video. Clearly it's been a while. I've had my hands full with a new puppy that has joined our family. Bless you. Oh, hello. Give me your paw. Good girl. If you've been following me on Instagram, you can get all my pup dates over there. I thought that I would actually just walk you through what's in my everyday makeup drawer. Wherever we get ready in the morning, we all have that one corner that houses our most reach for products on a regular basis. If there's a product that I want to try to focus on using up, that product will stay there until it's used up. I try to switch things in, you know, if it's a new season and I wanna do a bright lip more often, I will kind of put a bright lip in there. It's finally summertime, even though it's been kind of depressing over here. It's rained 21 out of the last 28 days. At least the weather's warmer, you know? And is it really a video of mine if I'm not commenting about the weather? Anyway, let's get on to the drawer. All right, so uh, this is usually organized by category. In here, I have my false lash equipment, which is very, very rarely used, but figured this would be a nice home for it. I have a pair of Esquito lashes, my Adele Demi Wispies, and a lash glue. In this little cubby, I actually have a sample of Guerlain L'Essentiel foundation, which I keep meaning to try now that my skin is a bit more oily that we're getting into spring and summer because when I tried this out at the end of winter, I didn't love it. Stay tuned for my thoughts on this one and I got shade 02W and this is just a little brush that the foundation comes with. Then in here we have uh, lip products. So I have my Rimmel Scrunchy lipstick. In here I have like the bolder shades and then here I have nudes and this is the glosses. So I have my YSL Volupt Shine and then my Care Vice Passion Lip Tint which I really love. Um, don't think I'm going to be swapping any of those out because I'm still really enjoying them. I'm actually going to add another lip product that I want to use more. I'm actually going to try to use it up. It's the NARS Satin Lip Pencil in the shade Lodi. This is such a gorgeous coral color. Um, I've mentioned it in videos before. I really love this color, especially for summertime, and I would like to get more use out of that. For nudes, Surat Gamine. I can't stop, won't stop with this. It's just like the most perfect peachy nude. I have this um, I've worn it in my last Get Ready With Me video that I did with the Urban Decay Naked Reloaded palette. So if you want to see it in action, check that out. This is still going to be in there. And then I have my old Dior Incognito lipstick, which is one of the lipsticks I'm trying to use up for my Project Pan this year. So this is staying in there. And one way that I like to use up a lipstick, even if the color might not be season appropriate or whatever, like this is a very cool toned nude, but this mixed in with some of these brighter coral shades actually looks really, really nice. So that's a great way to use up a lipstick because this is really old. It doesn't smell bad or anything like that, but I would like to use it up this year. Then in terms of glosses, I have the Clarence Instant Light Lip Perfector. This is just a little baby sample size that I got in an advent calendar. I've been buying them for the last 10 years and the shade 01, the pink one, is my personal favorite. So I really like this. And then the Clarence Lip Oil. This is the, um, the one that was limited edition for the holidays that I've talked about before. And it's, it's wonderful, as you can see. I love this one. I also like the shade Candy, which I don't have right now because I only like to have one of these going at, at once. But... Candy is a really, really nice pink color for summer. These are kind of like lip gloss, but a little bit um, a little bit more substantial. So I like to use the lip perfectors um, more on top of other lipsticks, but when I use the lip oils, I like to use them on their own or with lip liner. In here are primers. I have my eyeshadow primer, the Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then... For the under eye area, this is the Becca one. It's really nice and smoothing. I don't use this every single day, but if I'm using a more full coverage concealer, this looks really great underneath and it kind of helps smooth out the under eye area. Don't think I need to add or remove anything from this section. This is pretty good. Um, here I just have a pack of my cellar wipes. I don't use them very often, but on the odd occasion, if I'm doing like lip swatches for my blog or for a video or something like that, this is what I use to kind of remove the makeup in between. And then I just have the Clarence Fix Makeup Setting Spray. This is really great if I've overdone it with the powder and I just want to take out that powdery look and I just want a nice fresh complexion. This is really great. If I have 
an oily skin day and I want some oil control and some long-lasting power, I have the Urban Decay All Nighter. I don't use this every single day, so the travel size is great for me. I have a Kabuki brush that does not belong here. And then uh, just eyebrow products. I have this old Burberry eyeshadow that I like to use on my brows. I have a MAC... Um, what is this called? Shape and Shade Brow Tint in the shade Spiked. And then I have an old L'Oreal Brow Stylist Plumper. This is like my holy grail favorite brow gel, which is now discontinued. They did bring this a similar product out with a different wand, but I find that the formula of the new brow stylist is a little bit more watery than this one, so I'm still sad that the old was discontinued. In here, I have some uh, complexion products. I have some foundation, some primers, and some concealers. This is the Chanel water tint, which I absolutely love. This is definitely staying in here. Um, this can probably go for now. This is the Armani Prima Nourishing Glow Enhancer Oil and Gel. This is a go-to product for me in the wintertime when my skin is more dry, either used as a primer on the high points of the cheeks to encourage my skin to be glowy or mixed with foundation. This has been fantastic, but now that it's summertime, my skin's a bit more oily, so I don't reach for this as often. This is the Burberry Fresh Glow. This, I've used quite a bit of it. I really enjoy this. This has a little bit of like a light reflecting particle in it. It's just a really, really nice glowy primer, and it's water-based. It's very lightweight, and it's good year-round. So I'm going to keep this around if I want to really boost the glow. Um, this is uh, an Armani... Uh, Smart Moisture Serum. This reminds me of the Ren Perfect Canvas, actually. It's a like a hyaluronic acid serum, but it's got a bit more slip to it. It's not sticky at all, so it's like a lightweight hydrating primer, which is nice if you have oily skin that is dehydrated. I don't think it's worth the money because there are products like the Ren Perfect Canvas that can do the same thing, and they're slightly less expensive, so I wouldn't go out of my way to get this. Then I have the uh, Armani Power Fabric Foundation. This is in the color 4.5. The color match is just so, so good. And I find it really difficult to find like a light foundation that has olive undertones. A lot of them are either too orange or too yellow. And this just has that perfect balance of undertones for me. And this is really, really nice mixed in with other foundations. I've actually been wearing it mixed with the Surat Surreal Skin Foundation Wand, and this has been like my go-to long-lasting, glowy, everyday foundation. It lasts throughout the entire workday. It's such a great combination, so definitely keeping this in rotation. And here I just have concealers, and this is concealers as well, so maybe I should just put them all together. Too Faced Born This Way Concealer, excellent full coverage concealer. Um, the YSL Touche Claw, amazing for low maintenance makeup days and I actually even like them mixed together. Then I have my Sicily Corrector. This has a very strong peach undertone so I like to use this if I'm feeling extra grim under my eyes. Uh, sometimes I use this by itself as well if I'm having like a minimal makeup day. It's just fantastic. Then um, my two L'Oreal concealers. I have two different colors. This is the True Match. Super blendable concealer, love this concealer, but it's very, very, very overpriced. Actually, if you do like the price per milliliter, the formula of the L'Oreal ends up being more expensive than Sicily. So I would only recommend buying this concealer if you ever see it on sale. If you see it like for a two for one or 50% off, then it's worth checking out, but do not pay full price for this. I think if you've watched my, my top five favorite concealers video, you will have seen all of these. The NARS concealer, this is in the color Canel. This is the matte one, excellent for hyperpigmentation. And then my Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, excellent for blemishes. So this is my concealer zone. Then in here we have um, like eyeshadows. Well, there's a rogue foundation in there, but in here I usually like to keep eyeshadows and eyeliners. And um, I'm gonna take out my Tom Ford Coco Mirage. I went through a phase where I just was really craving using this palette again, and I was using it every day for like a week and a half, but I've just been reaching for my Urban Decay palette again, so I think I'm going to get rid of that for now and just keep, keep going with my <laughs> Urban Decay Naked Reloaded. I just love using this every single day. This is what I'm reaching for, so I'm going to keep this around. I'm going to take this out because... 
I mean, I've been using it a ton and I absolutely love it, but I would like to give other products their time to shine and this is the Burberry um, eye color cream in the color gold copper. This is one of my favorite single eyeshadows ever. This is a product that actually I've been using a ton and I don't think I've ever mentioned it in a video. It's from Lancome. It's a similar concept in that it's a kind of like a cream to powder formula, but this has a bit more luminosity to it and uh, it's a multi-purpose formula. This formula can work on cheeks, it can work on lips, it can work on eyes. I like to use this as eyeshadow. This particular color, obviously I wouldn't use this on my lips, but they have some matte bright shades that would be really pretty as a cream blush or a lip color or an eye color. It's basically like the Bite Beauty Multi Stick, but better in my opinion because it does not crease on my eyes at all. I had a really hard time with the Bite Beauty Multi Sticks on my eyes. They would just crease a ton. This one is really, really nice and it's the Le Monochromatique in the color Eclat. I use this on my eyelids or um, as a highlighter actually and it's really really pretty. So I'm going to keep this because it's going to be really nice in the summertime. Then my Rowan palette which I absolutely love. This is so so nice. This is like what I've been reaching for on nights out. And then here we have some eyeliners. I'm not going to use this anymore. This is a Marc Jacobs eyeliner in the color Mist Me. I love to use this in the spring just in the waterline or on the lower lash line combined with super neutral makeup and just have like a nice little pop of lavender under there. It's really, really pretty. Um, I, I'm sure I've used this in a tutorial before. This has been a favorite for a while, but um, yeah, I think uh, it's it's not it's not really a summer product for me. It's more of a spring product. Um, I'm going to keep my It Cosmetics Superhero Liner and this nude eyeliner from Maybelline. I like to use this in my waterline to kind of make me look more awake. A brown eyeliner pencil from Marc Jacobs. This is the color Earthquake. This is my favorite matte brown liner. It's super dark, super rich. Doesn't budge. Absolutely love this formula. And then I have, whoops, I have this color here from Urban Decay. It's called Torch. This is more of like an autumn color for me. I don't think I'm going to use this in the summer. So this can this can go. This is a copper colored eyeliner from Clarins. I think this is limited edition from a couple years back, but this is a great formula. The waterproof eye pencil from Clarins. This is great for the waterline and I love the color. So I'm going to keep using it in the summertime. And this eyeliner from Estee Lauder, it's in the color burgundy suede. It's a beautiful, deep, rich brown with a slight hint of shimmer to it. I love it, but it's definitely more of a fall winter product for me. So, um, taking it out of my rotation and I think I think we're good now with the uh, eyeshadows and liners this, this is the lineup now I have a bunch of foundations Dior face and body I recently just threw these in there because this is my favorite foundation for summertime the lasting power is incredible it has the most beautiful light to medium coverage and um, the shade 2WO matches me if I have like a fake tan going on um, but right now I'm, I haven't been fake tanning my face or anything so I need to mix it in with the shade 1N just so I can get the perfect match so definitely definitely keeping these and I'm actually going to put them in here with the rest of my foundations so this can be like a nice little foundation primer area Becca under eye setting powder, definitely keeping this. This is what I set my concealer with under the eyes. The By Terry Hyaluronic Hydro Powder. This is the only loose powder that I have in, in my collection and it's amazing for setting an oily T-zone. Becca bronzer, this is the color Capri Coast. I don't really, I'm kind of loyal to bronzers. If I find one that I like, I have no problem using it for months and months and months. I don't feel the need to change my bronzer up that much. I used to but I'm just really happy with this, so going to keep going with it. And then two cream highlighters. The Care Vice Cream Highlighter, which I just had pan on. I love this for every day. It's the color Ravishing, an incredible cream highlighter. And then the YSL Highlighter Stick. This is a little bit more intense, so if I need a little bit more of like an extra oomph, I will go for this. So definitely keeping that. I have the color number one. Um, I think it's called... 
gold or light gold. They have different colors in this formula. So, so good. This is the Surat Surreal Skin Foundation Wand. I like this, but I don't love it and I would not recommend it because it is very, very expensive and um, you only get half the amount of a regular foundation. Most foundations have 30 milliliters of product. This only has 15 and there is no option to refill it. So you'd have to like go through the ordeal of dealing with this crappy brush every single time you buy the product. I try to use this just with the brush and I find the application to be really streaky. I still like to go over it with a beauty blender. The formula is good. It reminds me of by Terry Sheer Expert, which, which is a foundation that I really love, but it doesn't have the longevity of by Terry Sheer Expert. So I think if you are somebody with more dry skin, you will actually really, really love this. But I just think there are so many, so many foundations to choose from on the market. Um, I would rather just try a new one rather than buy this. You know what I mean? It's not like good enough for me to want to be loyal to it right away. But I am enjoying using it, especially mixed with Giorgio Armani Power Fabric. It's a really great combination. You guys know I'm a big proponent of mixing foundations. It's the best way to use up what you have. And a lot of the times I prefer mixes of foundation more than just a regular foundation by itself. So like two foundations together can be a holy grail combination for me. And the two foundations by themselves separately can just be like meh, you know? If you have an underwhelming foundation, mix it with stuff until you find a way to love it so that you can use it up every day. Lancome Tanti Doll Ultra, I love this foundation. I was using this so much this winter. This mixed with the Armani Prima, like the Glow Enhancer was such a good long wearing, medium to full coverage base for me for um, during the work day. It lasted beautifully, but now that it's summertime, I'm gravitating more towards sheer finishes. So I think I'm gonna give this a little bit of a break. A foundation that is also very overpriced and you only get 15 milliliters of product, but the silver lining is that refills are available for this. I feel like every time I talk about this foundation, I have to like give my whole story again. But this is not available in the United States, but you can buy this in Canada. However, refills are not available in Canada, but you can buy refills for it in Europe, Asia, Australia. This is the Armani Essence in Foundation Cushion. This is one of my favorite foundations of all time. I love this in the winter, I love this in the summer, and honestly, if I had to just pick one foundation to use for the rest of my life, it would probably be this one because there's nothing that I don't love about it except for like the high price tag and the limited availability. Figures that the one foundation I really fall in love with has those issues. Bobbi Brown Cream Blush, this is the color Powder Pink. This is staying in here, this is one of my project pan items for the year. I'm going to try to use it up. Same with my Tarte Exposed Blush. Pan just keeps getting bigger, which makes me really excited because it's been taking me a long time to use up this blush. So that's staying in there. Um, this is a pressed powder that I like to use to set my makeup. Um, I like it because it does not look very powdery. It's very, very natural, and I can use this on its own with a Kabuki brush on the weekend if I'm really in a rush. It's the Pure Minerals 4-in-1 pressed mineral makeup in the color golden medium. It's amazing. I'm gonna put back my other powders and I am going to bring in a couple of new products that I like to use in the summertime. This Armani Neo Nude Blush. This is in the color 51. It's really, really sheer, but it looks so beautiful on the skin, like when you're doing minimal, minimal makeup. I really wanna try this with the new Chanel tint. I think that would be a really beautiful, fresh, uh, minimal makeup look. So I want to try to use this again. This Clarins SOS Bronzing Primer. I don't use this as a primer. I use this instead of a cream bronzer. And I don't have any cream bronzers in my collection, but I do have this. So this is kind of like satisfying my need to buy a, a cream bronzer. The color of this is really nice. I have this in the color number 06 Bronze. The color looks very, very similar on my skin to the Chanel um, Soleil Tan de Chanel. Once I use this up, I can go and treat myself to a new cream bronzer, but I will not allow myself to buy a cream bronzer until I finish this. It was a limited edition product last summer, and I'm pretty sure that it's back for this summer. So if you want like a less expensive alternative to the Chanel cream bronzer, the Clarence SOS Primer in 06 Bronze is very, very similar. I think that's it, I'm out of breath because I've been like, bent over for the last half hour trying to talk to talk you through all of these there's also like a backache happening so i'm going to shut up now <laughs>
and close the drawer. But this is my everyday makeup drawer. Where do you keep your most used everyday makeup? Do you have a drawer? Do you have a different system? Do you get ready with your entire beauty collection? Are you minimal? You just have everything in a makeup bag? I'm dying to know what your beauty habits are, so let me know in the comment section below. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.